Hello, my name is Alexander Diaz and I will be introducing you to my PhD project here at the University of Cambridge. This project has been sponsored by EPSRC and the Diamond Light Source National Synchrotron Facility. The current problem facing the synchrotron community is that of sample loading, in particular samples in the nanometer domain. This is because the sample loading systems they have available are top-down systems and purely mechanical, such as robotic arms or spraying systems. Both these systems are highly inefficient and often lead to sample wastage and poor measurements. The aim of this project is to replace these by substituting them to a bottom-up approach, such as optical tweezing, particularly an optical tweezing system which has been developed and bought off the shelf, such as the nanotweezer system by Optofluidics which has been implemented for this project. I will now proceed to explain how this works. The process of optical tweezing, which was pioneered by Arthur Ashkin, can be achieved in a variety of ways. However, in this case, this project focuses on evanescent field trapping. Evanescent fields are obtained by the total internal reflection inside of a waveguide. These fields are present at the point where the light is reflected, and by modifying the wavelength and power of the laser, we are capable of modifying these fields in order to create evanescent trapping wells. These trapping wells can be used in order to capture particles and thus induce optical tweezing. Should a particle come close enough to the waveguide and enter the evanescent field region, it can become trapped by one of the wells. The particle will not only be trapped, but it will also move across the waveguide due to the light scattering effect. It is useful to us as we are able to move this particle and control it into the position which we desire. When we no longer desire to trap the particle, it can be released by either completely switching off the laser or reducing the power as such that the trapping well no longer has the ability to hold it. Building on this principle, we can now outline the optofluidic chip, which is the core of this project. As its name implies, it is a combination between a microfluidic chip and an optical system. The optofluidic chip providing the sample in a solution and the optical system being the previously described waveguide. A particle travelling down the microfluidic channel will come across the waveguide and there it will become trapped. From there it will be moved into position, in particular into the X-ray beam line. Once the X-ray exposure is complete, the particle will be released and will then continue down the microfluidic channel. I hope you have found this presentation interesting. For more information, please visit the Cambridge University Institute for Manufacturing website. Thanks for listening.